speed and guile over caution and brawn. San Diego has been... style of play unlike anything seen in the past. With running skills. But Hadel threw the ball even better, meshing perfectly with Gilman's passing philosophy. It was throw the ball and muster all the speed that we could, could possibly get. We didn't have much patience with slow, lumbering people, and the emphasis was on quickness. We wanted to put the fear of the good Lord in the defense's eyes. They had to cover our long ones. The long ones usually meant passes to one man, number 19, Lance Orworth, the most exciting performer the AFL ever produced. I'd have to say it was really a God-given talent. Uh, it's an eye-hand coordination, and uh, I think a desire of wanting the ball above everything else. When the ball was up there, I felt like it was mine. Take a drive corner, Lance, or, you know, coming in from a good wide position and starting right down that middle and then breaking it off and taking it to the corner. You'll lose them, you'll lose them, and you'll lose them. The man nicknamed Bambi ran up some impressive numbers. Seven consecutive thousand-yard seasons, three pass-receiving titles, and countless defenders left choking in the dust. Lance Orworth was the point man of pro football's most sophisticated passing attack, an offense that bolted through the A. San Diego crushed the Buffalo Bills 45 to six, and Lance Orworth caught a pass in his 96th straight game. As Hudson greeted the future Hall of Famer to congratulate him, the Chargers... Little ...calling the shots flawlessly and passing to Lance Allworth for the touchdown that gives San Diego a seven... Hadel with a slant in pass to Lance Allworth sets up the field goal that gives the Chargers a 3-0 lead. Here's the payoff. Hadel goes to Allworth for the touchdown that makes it 17-0 at the break. Quarter, the Chargers flank Lance Allworth to the near sideline. Allworth, double team, has to fight to get downfield. Then makes a vital catch for a gain of 43 yards the taxi squad in 1965 Tensi's appearing for the first time as a professional Allworth grabs this bomb for a 44 yard touchdown the brilliant flanker falls in behind Walt Sweeney and once in the clear he leads his secondary at a merry chase to the end zone watching Watching Lance Allworth in action is in itself worth the price of admission to Charger games. Allworth's grab sets up a field goal. Sid Gilman's Hadel and Allworth pool their talents again for a tremendous 66-yard touchdown. But the Patriots go on to win, knocking San Diego out of the Western Division lead. No one player symbolizes the explosiveness and professional capability of the San Diego team more than Lance Allworth, generally regarded as football's finest receiver. Allworth's desire centers not on gaining personal recognition, but in winning games for the Chargers. And oh, how he can make those circus catches. Everybody likes Lance, except defensive backs. At Shea Stadium, Allworth made a shambles of his much publicized duel with defender Johnny Sample. Allworth nabbed 10 passes for 149 yards. A 9-6 runner in his college days at Arkansas, few ever succeed in defensing him one-on-one. -on -one. Allworth is six feet tall, weighs 180 pounds. 
When he came to the Chargers in 1962, Sid Gilman switched him from running back to flanker because of his size. But he shows here when he gets the football, he knows how to go through that broken field. perennial all-pro selection, Lance works hard at mastering his pass patterns. The 26-year-old pride of Little Rock, Arkansas, reaches a milestone in his brilliant five-year career in a game against the Kansas City Chiefs. It's a picture play all the way as Allworth scores his 50th touchdown. John Hadle will throw 23 touchdown passes in 1966. Most of them go to the inimitable Lance Allworth. Ron Mix helps Lance loosen up for a game with the Chiefs at Balboa Stadium. Allworth, who is enjoying his finest season, proves to be big poison to the KC secondary. The Chiefs yield a total of 127 yards to the Chargers star. Allworth becomes the first player in the history of the AFL to gain 1,000 yards in four consecutive seasons. The biggest bauble of all for Allworth in 1966 is winning the AFL receiving title. Allworth's totals reach 73 receptions for 1,383 yards and 13 touchdowns. Any wonder Lance Allworth rates superstar billing? After that 24-7, Lance Allworth races downfield to make a fingertip catch of a John Hadel pass. He outfeddles the secondary to rack up a 78-yard touchdown. Forward. In a repeat performance, Lance gets behind everybody to make an over-the-shoulder grab of the leather. San Diego is on top, 14-10 at the half. Oh, aggressive and always exciting. It will utilize any play in existence in the decade as it had begun by which Adel brought his team back and behind the rugged thrust of center Sam the football and against the Boston Patriots this is what they got. The points which for a time had vanished, aim pass receiver was on hand to watch another receiver make football history. Several years previously, a wild and wind-blowing rookie from Arkansas, wearing the unlikely number 24, caught a pass at his first pro game. Now eight years and 96 games later, all pro number 19 Lance Allworth would catch another pass. Allworth had broken Hudson's consecutive game receiving record and the game paused to honor them both. Besides Allworth and the huddle for all eight of his seasons, plus two previous ones, an age to con Lance Allworth binds the Charger past to Charger future. His charisma has been constant as the years have altered only his appearance, not his style of play. For seven consecutive seasons, this man has gained more than a thousand yards. A natural gift like Allworth's cannot be explained by any one facet. It may spring from an instinctive knowledge of how to mentally defeat the defensive back who faces him. It may all center in his hands. These are the hands of a pianist or a sculptor, hands with which Allworth makes a part out of catching a football. It may be the inborn quickness which releases him from the line like a startled deer. Whatever it may be, Lance Allworth running free is the symbol of Charger football.
This is the legend. Past brilliance, present excitement, future promise. This is and will be the legend of the lightning bolt. against the Oilers, pulling in eight passes from John Hadle, including an 80-yard touchdown bomb. began hitting. Receivers Lance Allworth and Gary Garrison, a counter-priority was established. They turned to the artistry of Lance Allworth, who despite an occasional three-man escort, snatched nine passes out of the dark skies of Oakland for almost 200 yards in the score. McKinnon, number first. As San Diego charged into Bears Stadium and on to victory against the Broncos, Lance Dahlwer set a team record and tied a league one by scoring four touchdowns. He and Gary Garrison made sport of the Bronco cornerbacks by pulling in 14 passes for nearly 300 yards. Dahlwer, football's outstanding receiver. He has it all, the blazing speed, great hands, and a pogo stick leaping ability that's become a personal trademark. On occasion, this is meant being marked for rough treatment, but he can dish it out as well. Once he has the ball, Lance is loose, and the fluid grace of his thoroughbred style is most apparent. and strong covered Allworth. It unleashed on the opposite flank a devastating force named Allworth as Dallas won handily, 28 to six. The Niners build up an early 15 point lead until Craig Morton's touchdown pass to Lance Allworth cut the margin to 21 to 13 at the half. Stallback rewarded them with a 30-yard key third down pass to Lance Allworth. Routine stalemate. Tony Fritch's 26-yard... He took his problem to the proper authority. And when the Dallas ground game stalled, the magical hands of Lance Allworth were ready. For a decade, the feats of this man have been legend, but now he was about to make what he would call later the two most important catches of his career. first catch, he once again wove his way to the open area of the zone. 